Hey, 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 tea sippers and pours. Hey, what's going on, y'all? This is your boy Derek Huggins, aka the Mega Mogul. And yes, right, I am back, y'all. I'm back, I'm back with my daily tea. Okay, now check it out. Today is Tuesday, April the 26th, 2016. And before I get into my tea, I got to say something that's really, really super important. First of all, you guys, today is Super Tuesday in all the primaries. So I need y'all, if you in, you live in the state of Connecticut, Delaware, Pennsylvania, Maryland, and Rhode Island, I need y'all to get out and vote today, okay? Because this is the presidential election, and this shit is serious, so I need y'all to get out and vote. Now, my friends, y'all smart enough to know who to vote for, so I ain't got to tell you to go vote for Hillary Clinton, because y'all already know that. But I'm just telling you, get out and vote. I think y'all got a few more hours, okay? So get out there and vote. All right, so let me get to my tea real quick, my personal tea. Now, a lot of y'all have been DMing me, y'all been Facebook inboxing me, you've been tweeting me, Snapchatting, Instagram, and every damn thing else, wondering where the hell I been. For these few months. Okay, well, y'all, I've been in jail. That's right. Clutch your pearls, baby. Clutch them, clutch them, clutch them. Because I've been in jail. Now, I got caught up in some shit. It don't matter. I'll tell y'all about of it later. But the main thing is, I'm out. And I'm ready to go. Okay? So, now that I got my tea out the way, let me get down to the real tea. Now, here's the real tea. Now, first, y'all, I got to show you. Do you see this right here? Now, <laughs> this is in a Crown Royal glass. And I know it's ratchet as hell. But, you know, hey. Just go work, go with it. Work with me. Child got some lemonade because Beyonce. Y'all call her Beyonce, but I call her Beyonce. Because you know, once you get to her level, you're Beyonce. <laughs> so Beyonce, <laughs> y'all over the weekend, dropped her visual album, Lemonade. And the whole premise behind it is uh Jay-Z's grandmother once said to her, you know, when life hands you lemons, you make lemonade. So, child, apparently Beyonce has uh, done this whole visual album, which is pure genius, uh, based on, you know, a lot of the shit that she's been going through, like Jay-Z's cheating, you know, Daddy Matthew knows cheating, and you know, that cheating, uh, when he cheated on her mama, Tina, who is now happily remarried, go Tina, proud of you. Uh, but anyway, so, you know, that strained her relationship with Matthew Knowles. But also, y'all, it's alleged that uh, Jay-Z was cheating with fashion designer, celebrity fashion designer, Rachel Roy. Now, some of y'all damn stupid-ass beehive people have been uh, messing with that girl, Rachel Ray. You know the celebrity chef, the, the one to be cooking on TV and stuff, the little white woman. Child, that ain't who she was talking about, Becky, with the good hair. Y'all got the wrong Rachel. Get Rachel Roy, not Rachel Ray, okay? I'm just saying. <laughs> now, don't be bullying that woman because I know that's what some of y'all do. Well, maybe it's a little too late to tell you that. But Rachel Roy is the one you want, not Rachel Ray, okay? So, apparently, uh, Lemonade has, like, broken all kind of records over the weekend because it's number one in, like, 60 countries on iTunes, right? Surpassing any other artist um, that's ever done it. Now, I'm not a devout member of the Beyonce, Beyonce, Beehive. Okay, I'm not, but I am a fan of Beyonce, and largely because she is an astute businesswoman, y'all. This woman knows how to take controversy and turn it into sales, and it's very Kardashian-esque. Now I know Beyonce will probably hit me in my eye for comparing her to the Kardashians, but baby, that's what it is. Okay, you took your pain and you made coin out of it. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. So I ain't got nothing but love for you, Beyonce. And for those Kardashians, because they know how to take some shit that's really wrong and turn it around and make them some coin. So anyway, so Lemonade, y'all, uh, like I said, the Beehive is going crazy because they all mad at Jay-Z. And child, y'all know that Jay-Z and Beyonce is sitting behind the scenes somewhere laughing their ass off at y'all dumb ass. Because y'all really think that their marriage is in trouble because she made a lot of references to his cheating. But the bottom line is, y'all, these are business people. They are very smart. They know how to market. They know how to promote. I knew the way Beyonce was stalling this damn release and the way she was teasing it that this was going to be a good old publicity stunt so that she can raise themselves and it has been 100% effective. So go King B. I'm with you. I'm a fan. All right. I got to move on. Now, whoo, y'all know Birdman, right? Birdman is the <laughs> founder and the owner of Cash Money Records. You know, Lil Wayne's mentor and all that. Well, Birdman was on the Breakfast Club radio show the other day uh, with Charlemagne the God, where this was the shortest damn interview in history because Birdman, y'all got mad because <laughs> Charlemagne was asking them a few questions. Questions. 
How you gonna get mad and got up and walked away? And y'all, we need to call Guinness Book of World Records because I think this was the shortest damn interview in the world. But anyway, Birdman goes off on Charlemagne and tells him, you need to put some respect. R-E-S-P-E-C-K, y'all. Did you hear what I said? R-E-S-P-E-C-K. Not R-E-S-P-E-C-T like Aretha, but R-E-S-P-E-C-K on it. Put some respect on my name. And child, he just got up and stormed out the place. And I was just laughing my ass off because I thought it was funny. Because I said, well, Birdman, you know, needs to get this shit together. Now, there's memes and shit going all over social media making fun of Birdman. And one of them, y'all, was seasoning. Put some respect on it. So y'all got this respect can right here. And I'm going to put a little respect on it for Birdman because, you know, Birdman was serious about this shit. He wants some respect on it. So my thing was, as a businessman myself, I'm like, shit, Birdman, let me call him up and say, Birdman, I need you to get with Tony Sacheris, you know, the little Cajun uh, Spice people, and tell them to come up with a line of seasonings for your ass called respect on it. Okay, and then you can put respect on it. You can put it on crawfish, you can put it on lobster, you can put it on chicken, you can put it on steak chow, you can put it on whatever you want to. So every time I get some season, I'm gonna think of Birdman and I'm gonna say, put some respect on it. Now, Birdman, if you take my idea, I need 10%, okay? And I need you to mail it to P.O. Box 123 759 Dallas, Texas 75201. That's my, my P.O. Box, y'all, so write me. <laughs> All right, so I want to know what y'all think about Lemonade, and I want to know what you think about Birdman controversy, okay? So I need y'all to tweet me at the Mega Mogul, okay? The Mega Mogul, M-O-G-U-L, okay? Not mobile, like a mobile phone. Y'all so dumb. Mogul, M-O-G-U-L, okay? So tweet me, Instagram me, Facebook me, Snapchat me, all that shit. Do all that, okay? And then also tweet our... Uh, our show page which is at my daily tea okay i thank y'all for watching i appreciate it and then i gotta end this tea on a very very sad 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 note anybody that knows me knows i'm a devout prince fan and as y'all know prince uh passed away over the weekend and it was so sad because there's so much that's still unknown about how he died i mean you tell me how a man that was basically healthy as a horse you know he was a vegan never really engaged in drug use or anything like that how he just mysteriously end up dead and you know there's a lot of speculation y'all that because prince is one of the pioneer artists leading the effort to control his own masters because he believed that if you didn't have control of your masters then your masters had control over you and i think this was some kind of conspiracy geared i don't know it just it just seems funny to me and a lot of people share my view and i want to know what y'all think about that do y'all think um something happened to prince because it, it's just it's just crazy but i do want to say i'm so proud of how so many people have come together to honor this man because prince as you all know listen he was prettier than beyonce but nigga had a voice like james earl jones he played over 30 instruments i mean he wrote his own songs did his own background vocals i mean he was a beast and so just a profound icon on the music world and he is just going to be greatly missed and uh, my favorite prince song is when doves cry and followed by probably Purple Rain and I Will Die For You. Okay, those are my top three songs. So, I don't know. This shit is just sad. But anyway, I'm going I'm to pick it back up because I'm, I'm a little sad about that. So listen, y'all. Come back tomorrow. I got some more tea for you. As long as y'all sipping, I'm going to keep on pouring. All right? Now, I got bills to pay shit. Y'all already know how I do. Bye. Get out of here.